<laughs> Hello, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to Divine Empowerment. My goodness, I just want to give you a big hug. Hugs. Wow, Scorpio. Um, you know, what's worrying you? What's got you all stressed out? You're a little anxious over here. All right, so there is, first off the bat, trust. The main message here, Scorpio, is to trust. Trust in divine timing. Trust that help is on the way. That you're not alone. And that your problems, sometimes when we focus on our problems, it's like putting a magnifying glass over an ant, right? It makes the ant look giant. And then the sun's coming through and suddenly, you know, you're burning the ant. Or you, you. Sometimes when we focus on our problem, it becomes huge. It just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And next thing you know, we feel like we're catching on fire. <laughs> and our problem is one. <laughs> However, trust, letting it go. Let whatever's worrying you, troubling you, bothering you. Whatever problem seems like it's got you under its <laughs> magnifying glass, let it go. Trust. Trust that all is well. And it's this suppression energy, okay? Just angst and, and worrying about it and fretting over it. You know, sometimes things are just out of our control. Sometimes when we take a break, and we walk away from our problems that seem like a giant hill of problems. <laughs> when we just focus back on the ordinary things in life, our problems, the solutions, then come to us. And I have to do this too because I do have a lot of Scorpio in my natal chart. And so I know what you're saying. I know how you're feeling. <laughs> You know, when we focus on our problems, it's like, mm, my goodness. And we actually kind of close ourselves off to the solution or to the resolutions. So even if it is just taking a walk in nature, just doing something that, you know what, letting it go. Just trusting that everything is divine timing and that the solution and the resolution will come when it's meant to. All right. You can also try meditating, turning in, clearing that, clearing that mind, right? Stop thinking about it. Stop talking about it. <laughs> Don't call all your friends and your neighbors and all your friends' neighbors and, and so on and so on. You know, just let it go. Find a, a quiet space, you know, focus on anything else any kind of ordinary task, even if it is just, you know, maybe cleaning house or reading a book, anything to just take your mind off what you're worrying about. And that's when the solution will come. That's when the much needed help, the energy, the resources that you need to get past this, to resolve whatever it is that's worrying you. When you take your mind off of it and you focus it somewhere else, that's when you're going to get relief. That's when you're going to get your, find your answers. The elemental of air. The answers, the solutions, they'll just come pouring in. It's like, and you're going to feel like a weight has been lifted off of you, right? Just turning it over to Mother Goddess, Father God, Spirit. The universe, this initiation, say, here you go. I've got this problem. I've got these worries. And I feel helpless here. I feel suppressed by it, the suppression card. Turning it over to a higher power, letting it go. And then go out and have some fun. <laughs> Seriously, the Beltane. Go celebrate. The problems, the solutions, everything, you know, celebrate the problems, celebrate, celebrate the solutions, celebrate everything, right? Celebrate that, that trust energy that it's all is well. It is so. <laughs>
It is so. And then just spread that joy and that celebration and that relief and that, yeah, you're just going to feel so, so much better. And the universe is going to reward you. I mean, things are not as bad as they seem. The elements are here to say trust in divine timing, release control over the situation, especially if it involves a relationship. For some of you, it could be a relationship where you're not standing up for yourself. You're not, you know, or maybe things have gone astray. Maybe things, maybe there's been some triggering going on because there's a lot of that happening. <laughs> maybe, you know, whatever, whatever it is, okay? Letting it go, right? Finding your joy. Go take a walk. Do some meditation, clear your mind, right? Clear it, let that anxiety go. Let all of those worries go. And this is gonna give you a brand new perspective, the hangman. And seriously, I mean, anytime we have worries or problems, sometimes just letting it go, go down, have some fun, maybe dance, <laughs> have a margarita on the beach, Whatever it is, you know, then suddenly solutions come in, right? The answers come into you. This two of swords. Things are going to go much more smoothly. Um, so this week is for a two week, I mean, this reading is for a two week span. So the next two weeks, you know, just let all that go. Let it go. Focus on ordinary tasks. Focus on, you know, just calming your mind. Maybe take a sea salt bath or, you know, go for a swim in, in, in the lake or the ocean or whatever's near you. It will come to a completion, nine of wands. Everything is going to be okay, Scorpio. And then, then you're just going to feel great. After that nine of wands and everything's just worked out and all the problems are behind you and then you can just focus back on the seven of pentacles reaping your harvest reaping your rewards enjoying enjoying yourself you know cooking planning new intentions new creations and focusing too back on it's not the physical manifestation right it's the energy the emotions that you want to experience because of the physical manifestation this two of pentacles means, all right, as you can see, she's cooking. She's creating a dish, right? She's got a recipe. She's got her ingredients. But I guarantee you, she knows what she wants to experience and taste, right? She wouldn't probably be cooking or creating something that, you know, she knows she doesn't like. <laughs> So think of your intentions and your manifestations at the end of this two weeks. Be more about what do you want to feel in those experiences, okay? The emotions are so, so important. And I don't know if you guys have checked out my recent video, um, how to order your dream soulmate from the universe. You can literally apply this technique to anything that you're wanting to manifest or experience. And it's also great even if you're in a relationship. <laughs> it comes with awesome tips on that as well. So I'll link the card here. Now if you're interested in my amazing online energy healing services, soul realignment, I will link a video at the end of this video. It's in a playlist. It's called Soul Realignment Services or Divine Empowerment Services. Anyway, check that video out. If you have any questions, you can email me. And I do accept payment plans on all of my services. Blessings into infinity.